Hi, my name is Renee Fraser. I am the Operations Manager here at Alauda. Last week we headed out to the Flinders Ranges. We went to go and see three particular stations. Some of these properties stretch over 100,000 hectares. We're talking massive properties. So with that, we're absolutely spoilt for choice in where we can race. So for these particular races, we're looking for more of showcasing like the South Australian outback with deserts, rolling hills. So the first time that we started thinking about what type of races to have and where, we were looking at all different sorts of locations uh, around Australia. And one of the ones that we thought was really great scenery was the Salt Flats. And it just reminded me of you know, traditional racing with, you know, like the Bonneville salt flat drag races. So I figured, you know, instead of with cars, we'd be doing that with speeders. I mean, it's a simple plan. Um, I, f I feel like people overcomplicate it all the time, but it's like we're, we're here to race and um, racing gives us everything we need in terms of technology development and um, uh, brand awareness and audience uh, building. All those things come when we race. So it's a really simple, uh, a simple proposition. I'm feeling pretty excited, uh, 18 months of hard work uh, since I've been here and watching the progression through the team has been really exciting so to finally see these races come to life is huge for me. The Australian Outback is also cool because it's, it's kind of the closest thing to, to Mars that we have. You know, we want it to look futuristic, something that, that uh, looks like it comes out of a science fiction movie as well has that ethos of futurism that I think that really lends itself to what we're doing. It's one of those pioneering moments and we're getting, getting ready for even bigger pioneering moments for, for the industry. Um, the heroes of aviation and things, I, I feel like we're, we're coming to one of those moments for, for ourselves. My name is Florian Brut. I'm a simulation engineer. My job is to support the development of new aircraft programs uh, with some technical analysis. I also uh, worked on the validation of software stack uh, for the flight controller and for networking uh, components. Another aspect of my job is to create some tools to accelerate pilot training and improving performance. We adopted model-based design, starting with the Mark III program which means that we accurately model every dynamic response of the aircraft. We use uh, estimation for the powertrain uh, as a test bench campaign for estimation of the torque and thrust. We also evaluate the system uh, identification for the current draw. This allows us to quickly iterate on the design and verify all our hypotheses before going to fly. This is extremely important to stress the aircraft from every possible angle and also to improve the, the robustness of the, the overall uh, system. Then we can go to the airfield with high confidence, even if uh, we have a new component on board or uh, a new performance tuning profile. The human-machine interface for the airspeeder is also something unique. The simulator is used as a test bed to find some uh, best way to display the information to the pilot during the flight. It can be a visual cue, uh, haptic feedback or audio warnings. The, the aircraft is very intuitive to operate and easy to diagnostic uh, when the system so, can trigger some warnings, but we still need some extensive time uh, on the simulator to fully understand the beast and to push the vehicle to its limits.